get it. 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 Hey guys, welcome back to our vlog. Today we'll be doing a skincare vlog and showing you how I keep my teeth shiny, my porcelain teeth that I got done that cost veneers for two thousand. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be doing a nighttime skincare routine and giving you a little bit of a review of the products that we use. Well, let's get into it. Okay, first of all, I'm going to take my makeup off. Usually I'll use these makeup wipes by Simple or I'll use my cellar water. Depends if I'm being lazy or not. Today I'm lazy. While I take my makeup off, Michelle is going to be using the Spray Lane Cleanser by The Ordinary and you stop it. Okay. And you put it into your palms and you rub it and it turns sort of into like an oil consistency and then you brush it. Mm. <laughs> and then you wash it on your face, etc. So that's the first step. So instead of using like normal salt, you can use that. Yeah. Otherwise, um, only I have this one, but otherwise he uses the Dove Soap Cleansing Oil Fragrance Free. Majority, besides one product that we're using, everything that we're using by The Ordinary is fragrance free. So if you have sensitive skin, that's really good for you. The Square Light Cleanser is supposed to be good, like it's supposed to be suitable for all types of skin. So I'll take my makeup off and then he'll wash the cleanser off his face and then we'll see you soon. It creates an oily type texture on your face, if you can see. It basically gets rid of all the dirt from your face and all the impurities from your face. And so, which is different from normal soap. Yeah. Hence why, hence why we use that. Trust me, I didn't like this at the start because it was way too oily. Uh, look how oily my hands are. I don't know if you guys. It can feels see weird. But it feels is, weird. It hydrates your skin instead of. There's a lot of cleansers out there that you put it on after you wash it off. You feel like your skin's really tight and really gross. But this one's actually hydrating whilst cleaning all the dirt and pollution throughout the day that you've collected on your face. And then you're meant to do this every single night. <laughs> I'm bad. <laughs> I stay nice with consistency. <laughs> um, Michelle hasn't been doing his skincare the past few nights because he's been really busy and lazy. When I actually do my skincare, you guys should see how I look the next day. Mm -hmm. My skin be glowing though, like a different oh, color. I should mention some problem areas for us is, I mean, for you, hyperpigmentation like oh, yeah. around his eyes and stuff yeah right there um and his aim mainly is to you know just brighten his skin tone and have an overall even complexion for me um i have sensitive skin and i get a lot of inflammation and redness i've just taken off my makeup and i'm gonna use the cleanser now you rub it together and it's important to know that when you're washing this off, you want to put like add water to your hands and then add it to your face and create sort of like a milky layer. After that, you rinse it off. For most guys, most guys don't do their skincare and stuff, but trust me, if you do it, your skin will be much better. You'll never have any like pimples, pores or anything on your skin that you never have to complain about. Oh. I don't look good cool or stuff like that. Step two, niacinamide. I find this really helps with mm -hmm. evening your complexion and like getting rid of redness or like pigmentation. Or blemishes. Um, and it works well for both of us and we do see results on... Especially on my skin. And the thing is you're only meant to put a drop. You don't want to do too much, so basically... Okay, that's good. Put about that much, that and much. that will cover his cheek. See, if you guys look closely, everything on my cheek has been covered up. Yeah, so it's important to spread it first, so it doesn't dry out. Yeah, so unless you like, just pat, 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 and then slightly just do that. And then that should be good. And then same thing on the other side of your face. <clears throat> now, with all the boys that do your skincare, make sure you do this one as well. Face marks are good, but this is much better. If you have dark circles right here, or underlines, it's very important to use it right over here. 
Just make sure not on your eye. <laughs> in your you eye. don't get anything in the eye, guys. I just want to say, for me personally, I use the Ordinary Lactic Acid 5% plus HA. So essentially, this is a chemical exfoliant, and I use this every second day, so I'll use it about two to three times a week. In between using that, I will use this rose hip seed oil. I find this really good for combination skin if, or combination to dry skin. I will use the lactic acid for now, and this spreads really, really quickly. So instead of putting it straight onto my face because it would just run down, I put it into my hands and I will do like a drop, two drops, two drops, yeah, literally two drops. And that will go all over. Sponsor us, please. Sponsor us. I need money. <laughs> Lactic acid is an AHA. So basically, there's AHA and BHA. If you have like a dark complexion, like Michelle, I would not recommend AHA acids. I would recommend the. I have to say this right. Salicylic acid. 2%. In the mask form. So you can either get it in the solution like this or you can get it in the mask form. And you would use that one to two times per week to exfoliate your face. Basically, in the bio, we'll link everything down and then we'll write two ways. If you want to be lazy and just do like a two minute skincare like me, <laughs> we'll write that down on what you need to use. But if you want to do like a proper skincare like Bebe over here, then we'll write that down as well. Step three. Step three. Step three. Now, Lotion. in where we are in Canberra, so the Ordinary does have like moisturizers that use hyaluronic acid. I do not recommend that if you're in Canberra during the winter time or anywhere that has low humi humidity mm. because what it does essentially is that it draws out water from the environment around you and replenishes your skin, mm. making it a surface hydration thing. Basically, if you don't have that humidity around you to draw the water into your skin, it's actually gonna draw it from in your skin to the top of your skin, mm. and that's just gonna end up dehydrating your skin. So that's why you don't wanna do that. That's why we don't use that. We use the Nivea Night Cream, and it does have fragrance, so if you're sensitive to fragrance, I probably would avoid this one. This, I feel like, is the most important step. You know why? Because if you don't put this after the niacinamide, you will get dryness on your skin. Yeah. You will 100% get dry skin. Because what, what the niacinamide does is it tightens your skin up and then... Well, it feels tight. It feels it's tight. It's not like a skin tightening product, but it does feel a bit tight if you don't moisturize if after. If you don't moisturize after. And when you do moisturize after, you'll get like an oily look, was it? Well... Michelle was very specific about not having an oily look after using products. That's why the majority of the stuff we use is at night time, which is why we use the night cream. Mm. Because he hates like the shininess look mm. of things. So if you're really picky about that... Do this at night time before you yeah, go to bed. Yeah, definitely moisturize and use a night cream instead of... Day cream. A day cream, yeah. yeah. I like to use the day rollers. Is this a necessary step? No. Does it really do anything beneficial? Don't really know. But I just like to use it. It feels nice. It's nice and cold. Helps with lymphatic drainage. There's nothing bad that it can do to your skin. It just absorbs the product much nicer into your skin. Yeah. That's all. That is correct. And if you see my dark circle, it's because of the lighting. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's because of the skin care. And you've been gaining all night, guys. No. So it's really important to always stay hydrated. Oh, yeah, because if you're not staying hydrated, it doesn't matter what skincare you're doing. It's gonna you're gonna dehydrate your skin. You're gonna have those wrinkly, crusty lips. Guys, I can't speak today, so sorry if I've kind of been half blabbering. But that is it for our nighttime skincare routine. We hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna put everything in the bio that we do individually and what our target areas are, plus our skin type. So if you're interested, that is below. And we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to see our morning routine, mm. morning skincare routine, then mm. let us know. There's not much to it, to be honest, but let us know. And we will see you guys next week with another video. Done. <laughs> Done. Bye. Bye. She's so ecstatic to me.
She ain't like the mother once is lacking something. I cannot forget her, she got magic on me the way she disappear and come back, she be acting funny. She's she's so ecstatic to me. <laughs> Schwab, 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 schwab. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Clean, 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 clean.